everybody, and welcome to a brand new and very festive gizmo build. This time around, we are building this flying sled just in time for the holidays, and this design was inspired by elephants. So thank you for the inspiration, and let's go. First thing we're gonna do is build the runners on this sled. So take the wooden floor and place them in a formation just like so. And this is where it gets a little ingenious. We're gonna take the wooden fender and make the curls of the runners out of them. So first we're gonna place one down, rotate it around so it's oriented this way, and then we're gonna select it, deselect the wooden floor, and then we're gonna copy it, rotate it twice on Y and twice on X to get them side by side like that, great. And then we're gonna select this, or deselect the floor again, and copy it, move it up one space, flip it around, and there we go, there's that nice curve. And th this is actually the rear of the sled, so we're gonna take all of this that we just made, deselect the wooden floor again, and copy it over to the other side. And there we go, there's the back of it. And we're gonna copy it again, and move it to the front, rotate it around 180 degrees. And we're gonna add an extra turn in the curl. So we're gonna take these top two wooden fenders, copy them, rotate them once around, so that we have that nice little S curve like that. Very creative. And then we're gonna take this whole thing again, deselecting the wooden floor once more, and then copy it over once, and one more time to create a solid front to the sled. And there you go, there we have our runners, and now we can move on to the middle. We're gonna take our large ramp here, you could pick any color you like, we'll place it down here in this spot, and then rotate it so it is upside down and over like this. And we're gonna put a propeller, any propeller you like, in this spot and then rotate the ramp into it like so. Perfect, and then we're gonna select all of this, deselect the floor, copy it over, and there we go. And then we're gonna actually copy the ramp again, deselecting both the propeller and wooden floor, and then copy it into the middle and then we're going to use the Select and Replace tool to turn that block green. There we go. All right, now we're taking the short ramp and putting it behind there and rotating it so it is oriented like so, so you kind of have that scoop on the bottom. All right, and just like before, we're copying over this small ramp to the other side. And again to the middle. then replacing the middle one with green to maintain the stripe. And then for a little fun, we're gonna put a exhaust pipe back here behind that other green one. Okay, then we're gonna take this ramp again with the propeller in it, deselect the wooden floor, and copy it up and over a couple spaces, rotate it around and place it here on the back, and then make another copy and put it on the other side. All right, then we're gonna place two more small red blocks up here in the front and put the engine right in between them. All right, then back here we're gonna put a wing so that when we stop accelerating in the air, we won't just plummet down to earth. And then behind that, we'll put another green short ramp and then rotate it so it's upside down and facing out like this. Now we're in the cockpit and we're gonna place that steering wheel right in the center behind the engine and we have to have our pet fly around with us so we're gonna put a little red wagon right next to the driver's seat. And then moving up top, we'll put another green ramp here, rotate it around so it's facing like this. And then the long red ones again, place them out here and rotate them in so that they sort of have that aerodynamic look. And then on either side, we're going to put a small red ramp And then on top of that, a couple of propellers. And there you have it, there is our flying sled. All right, that about wraps it up for this edition. Thanks again to Elephant for the inspiration. Very creative with those wooden fenders. I was very impressed when I saw it. If you have a design that you wanna share, join our Discord at discord.gg quirk. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked, well, you gotta hit the like. That's how we know you like it. Also subscribe if you haven't already, and get out there, build something, have some fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye.